Hello guys, there is fire on the mountain. Hmm. Fearless lawmakers attack President Bola Tinubu. The reason why DSS took over the National Assembly over the, the Senate president impeachment. Unano say yesterday, it was everywhere. It was everywhere on the news that uh, there was a plan. Or there's a plan going on to impeach the, the Senate president, Kaduna Babu, because they say he won't do too much. He won't rub a stamp, do too much. They have never seen this kind of a thing. Under his watch, Nigeria is drowning. And he do nothing about it. He talk, he will just come talk carelessly in the I like. And Nigerians do not like, you know, the way he's handling the issues in the National Assembly. Several times he had had issues with Ndome, Ali Ndome, you know, uh, in the House of Assembly because of the way he handled things. You know, the, the what is really affecting us in Nigeria here is this tribalism uh, because now at all, uh, that is the reason why he should be there, even if the person is not performing. It happened during Muhammad Buhari and now it's happening again. I recall then I, when President Muhammad Buhari at his first tenor, you know, Nigerians were like, which kind of problem is this? This man is not going to do anything. But they are telling us, no, don't worry. His life is slow and steady. He, it, will, it will pick up now like that, like that, like that. So even when some persons are calling for his resignation, the Northern had said, no, Nigeria go cast, even go fall. You go enter here, everywhere you go break into pieces, this, this, and that. If anybody tries to overthrow their brother, it's their turn. President Bola uh, Muhammad Buhari will finish the first uh, term and he could still enter the second one, making it four years. Eventually, that was what happened. As he was leaving, he left empty Nigeria. And the person that took over to, you know, capitalized on that. After all, when the former president do what he do, because they understand that he finished Nigeria and nothing happened. So even if I said it's my turn and eventually I am there, I will do whatever I would like and nothing happens because it's my turn. And that is just what is happening right now. This tribalism and religion is tearing Nigeria apart. Before we go open our eyes, see, Nigeria will, will, no, will, will be nowhere to be found. This man, Okbabio, is not performing. Let's forget about that uh, some uh, northern senators are questioning him. You know how these things rule because it's from the south. The southern senators will not question, you know, uh, question him. So it is the, 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 the northern senators are questioning him. It's now looking like it's a tribal war going on in Nigeria. The northern senators... They don't agree with Godin of Papio. And if you go ask 100 persons today in Nigeria, 99.9 persons will tell you that Godin of Papio is not fit to be there. The way he talk carelessly, he go talk when he don't talk finish before he go, he go begin the think. Say what he talk, he not good. We are not say Nigerian political activist Aisha Yusuf. You know, recently criticized Senate President Godwin Okbabio, calling him the most irresponsible elected official in Nigeria who constantly talks about food. He's always talking about food. When uh, during an end bar uh, protest in Nigeria in August, he said, Since we don't tell on us, make one more protest. If you want to go and protest, no, well, I'll go and protest. We will be here eating. All he wants is just food. It, 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 it. You will not hear anything, any, any good thing coming out from his mouth. You understand? You see, if you condemned Okbabio's recent uh, comment, urging citizens to take advantage of free food during tough times, describing the remarks as emblemic, emblematic of his lack of empathy and uh, detachment from the realities faced by ordinary Nigerians. What in heaven's name is that? Is that the response to the hardship 
that people are going through, she questioned. Highlighting the dire situation, many families found themselves in as they grapple with basic needs like food and education. And I know say this recent one when he talk, he say, hey, you understand though, there is hardship in Nigeria, but Nigerians should do themselves good. Anywhere they see free food, they should, they should help themselves. And Nigerians are asking, you know there is hardship, so who is giving out the, the, the who is giving out the free food? Where is the free free food? Where is it coming from? Are you giving out free food? The economy is biting everybody, apart from these politicians. You get so that is what is that that was what came out from a leader. He's supposed to be the third in command. That is what came out from him. So Nigerians do not even have confidence in this man. That is the truth. They have no confidence in him. They are just there for their own pockets. Selfish reason. Not for Nigerians. You understand? So guys, I did drop on for you. Uh, share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give her the thumbs up. Uh, share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you. and bright. Try to do something different. And tell them and ask them questions. What is their problem? This is what is happening in the nation. Why are we not getting improvement? The motion has been moved that we invite the security chiefs, Inspector General of Police, the Army chiefs, to a closed door session with the Nigerian Senate to discuss holistically the issue of securing the nation. They also consider a bill for an act to provide constituency and other special projects in the annual budget. This bill is apt for Nigerians to benefit most from national budget, national assembly input in getting projects attracted to their area is very, very relevant. Let's try to have this bill passed and let's dialogue with the executive arm of government to have what we need in our various senatorial districts and federal constituencies. And then the debate became polarized. Where I have problem with this bill is that we are surrendering our powers to the executive because we all agree that the power of the pulse remains with the National Assembly. This bill um, seeks to infringe on the Constitution. As we speak, the present president already has given approval for release 100%. So I don't think we need this act. Arguments against the bill outweighed those in favor. Consequently, the bill failed to scale through second reading. Uh, I will put the question. Those in favor that this bill be now read a second time, say aye. aye. Those again say nay. Yeah. The next service. Earlier, the Senate confirmed the nomination of Dr. Aminu Meida for appointment as the Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Communications Commission. From the National